We're going to do an experiment. We're going to add 10 billion zero to one random numbers using a for loop, accumulate, and reduce without any adornments. And this is what we get. Fantastic. They all agree. We're all very happy. Um, now, if we permute those numbers and add them again, we get a different answer. Curiously enough, they're still agreeing. That concerns me anyway. If I look, why are these things that are obviously giving me the wrong answer agreeing? It's because they still have the same disassembly. They're doing the same thing. They're just adding a double to an ongoing sum held in the XMM register. Now consider two numbers, 10 to the 16a and uh, 0.1234567B. And if we merge them together, we get a 25 digit number, which we can't hold in a double. When we add, actually add them, we get something like T here, which is about 16 digits. We can say A plus B plus an error is equal to T. Rearranging, we get an expression for the error, which we can use to do error correction. So now if we had um, a binary lander, we could have the first argument taking the running sum, and the second argument, the new value, which we're going to error correct. And we can do it like this, following that one. And we just put this new lambda, the can lambda, at the end of the accumulate, or reduce, and we should get better numbers. The general rule is add numbers of the same exponent or the same size to retain accuracy. Or we could add subsets summed over the same number of elements to retain accuracy as well. So now let's use this heuristic to engineer the least accurate algorithm we can. <laughs> hey, it's been done, honestly. So what we need to do is we need to ensure that we always add subsets with the largest size difference that we can. So if we had 100 elements, we'd add one element to the sum of, say, 98. And we could repeat that over and over, keeping it really inaccurate all the way along. Now, this looks kind of familiar because this is what we've just seen. Optimally inaccurate. So anyway, so now we're going to try and do something sort of white hat. We're going to try and engineer the most accurate algorithm. So here we want to add subsets together of the same size. So if we say I had 128 elements, we could just split in two and have sums over 62, lots of 64, right the way down to the bottom where we have pairs. Or oh, I think we're bottom up, just adding pairs of numbers, then sums of pairs of pairs, all the way to the top. Pairwise summation. We could even speed this up using SIMD at the bottom bit. Um, and now let's rerun the experiment. And what we see is the, the lying first three numbers, we know they're wrong, they're wrong ones, but the other ones, using different algorithms, they also agree. This is called agreement by being correct. <laughs> it's a reproducibility by, by being right. And now let's go and permute that. And what we got is we get the same answer again and again. And just to show it's real, if you look at the last bit on the pairwise one, it wiggles off by one bit. So anyway, it's just making the point. So we got the wrong number because, not because um, associative addition is bad. We got it because we added them in skillfully, the most inaccurate way possible. And if you want to comp compute the performance of this, looking at uh, SIMD, pairwise, CAN, and STL, the silver line at the top going six times faster than the STL version, that's also given us the correct answer. So how about this <laughs> accumulation? Yeah, um, I'm not going to relieve that. Yeah, <laughs> watch the booby trap. Um, so could we please have a new algorithm for pairwise reduce or pairwise transform reduce? Uh, resources are available on this GitHub. Thank you.